The hybrid technique of using the uterotor forceps to perform capsular rexis, a very new concept. While using the uterotor forceps for capsular rexis, the control of the flap tear is by an upward pull, either in a tangential or centripetal fashion, thereby giving us more overall control. However, the disadvantage of the uterotor forceps is that it requires a larger incision and opening up the jaws of the forceps can lead to a visco leak out with shallowing of the anterior chamber. I suggest a hybrid technique which will help the cystotome user who creates a flap tear by pressing down on the lens and propagating the tear using a shear or a tangential tear or a rib or a centripetal tear. These surgeons can now use the uterotor forceps like a cystitome and create the same type of tear thereby getting a feel of the forceps. The closed jaw of the forceps also largely prevents visco leak out and better maintenance of anterior chamber. They can gradually graduate to the next level by using a combination of the cystitome and forceps like flap tear as is depicted in these videos. The cystitome like tear gives greater control while initiating the tear and taking it forwards for a few clock hours while the forceps like tear gives greater control in achieving a good sizing and centration of the capsular rexis as the forceps like tear can be performed even if the anterior chamber is a little shallow whereas the cystitome like tear will cause the rexus to run away in such situations as the configuration of the lens is spindle shaped. In my hands using both the cystitome like tear and the forceps like tear gives me more control in achieving a proper well centered and correctly sized capsular rexus each and every time. This new adaptation of the hybrid technique has removed my mind block about using the uterotor forceps and it has made this instrument more user friendly for me to handle. Thank you for your attention.